Hello all. Welcome to session 9 of csharp.net training series. In this session, I am going to explain how the compilation and execution actually happen in .NET. So let's get started. In .NET, the compilation and execution will happen in this manner, okay, as shown in this diagram. This is the diagram, guys. So let me maximize the diagram so that you can see it properly. So this is a basic view diagram. I have a detailed version also of this diagram. First, let me explain the basic view of the basic view diagram. So this is how the compilation and execution generally happens in .NET. So here, the first block is source code. In this diagram, as you can see, the first block is source code. Source code means what programming code, okay? The developer has written some code here, okay? In the different programming languages, guys, okay? It, the source code can be in any programming language that is supported by .NET. There are 60 plus programming languages that are supported by .NET. So if the developer has written the source code in any of the programming language that is supported by .NET, this is what is a source code. So that particular language will have its own compiler, okay? If uh, the code has been written in C Sharp, C Sharp has its own compiler. If the code has been written on VB, the code, uh, the, that particular programming language will have its own compiler, okay? VB compiler will be there. C sharp means C sharp compiler will be there. The respective compiler of that programming language will compile the source code and convert that into the common code, okay? Intermediate language. Because multiple languages are there, that multiple language code need to be first converted to what? The intermediate code, okay? That can be understood by it's a common thing guys, okay? Some common language code, it has to be converted into, that is called as MSIL, Microsoft Intermediary Language. Your source code will get converted to MSIL, which is common language. Simple words, it's nothing but the common language. The specific language is going to convert it into the common language by this language specific compiler. Fine, once it gets converted to the common language, then CLR, one of the component of .NET will come into picture. In CLR, there's something known as JIT, guys, okay? A JIT is there, JIT compiler again is there, okay? In CLR, there's one of the component in, subcomponent in CLR. Common, CLR means what? Common language runtime, okay? The common language runtime has one of the subcomponents as JIT compiler. That JIT compiler, what it will do is, it will convert this intermediate language, that is common language to native code. Native code means byte code, machine code, native code, all the all are the different names for the native code, guys, okay? That means uh, it will be in zeros and ones, okay? So who can understand zeros and ones? The machine will understand, okay? So this CLR will convert this common language to the machine language so that this code will run on that particular laptop or machine, okay? Using the process, process of that particular laptop or machine will be able to understand this uh, native code that is byte code or machine code and will be able to run the code. So now, hope you are able to understand how the compilation and execution will happen in .NET. It all starts with the programming code, which is generally written using the syntax and using English, English and syntax of that particular programming language. The source code will be written first without directly running the source code. The source code will be first converted to the common language because there are multiple languages supported by .NET. So .NET follows this kind of structure where uh, for running the code, the specific code need to be converted to common language code by the language specific compiler. And after that, CLR will convert this MSIL into byte code or machine code or native code with the help of that JIT compiler, okay? And that converted byte code or nat native code or machine code will be able to run on the particular machine with the help of the process of the machine, okay? Respective process of the machine will be able to understand this byte code and will be able to run the code, fine? So this is a basic view, guys. Uh, let's go to the detailed view. Detailed view of this diagram, as you can see here, here, different programming languages are there. Whatever the programming language may be, the programming language specific compiler will convert that programming language source code into the common intermediate language that is a common language code, MSIL, Microsoft Intermediate Language, okay? Then common language runtime, CLR will come into picture. CLR, as I mentioned, will have JIT, okay? This JIT compiler, what it will do is, it will convert this common intermediate language code to byte code, that is machine code or, uh, okay? machine code or this uh, native code, whatever you can call, byte code, machine code, native code, fine. So once this uh, gets converted to the native code or byte code or machine code, it will run on the our machines, okay? This is how the code will be compiled and executed on .NET. So hope guys, you got the answer for uh, uh, how you, you got to know like 
how the compilation and execution will happen in dotnet so that's all for this session in the next session i'll explain more about dotnet see you in the next session thank you bye